farmers and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. Fifth day of summer is here. I am out cutting the grass because I got about two good days here. So hopefully this grass will turn into hay. Fingers crossed. Uh, so we'll just let it bake out in the sun a little bit for a couple days. And like I said, hopefully be bailing up some hay here in a couple of days. Uh, meanwhile, I did get a uh, corn silage harvest in that field down there, field number 11. I took care of that this morning while I was waiting for the grass to get below 20%, so when I cut it, it would be dry grass. Because it didn't rain last night, so I figured oh, I'll get one field done. we still got one more field to go currently. I know the crops look like they are ready for harvest, but they're not ready for harvest. Uh, that's what you get with Seasons in Farming Simulator 19. Um, yeah, they're in the final growth stage, although they look like they're, they're dry, ready for harvest. But uh, you know the routine. I had to bring the corn silage from field number 11 over here over to our new silage clamp, uh, silage bunker. Even though I got a bunker cleared out over here, but the problem is it still shows 50,000 liters of silage into it, so it must be in the other bunker, kind of like last time. So I had to clean out both bunkers to get that completely clean. So, yep, we'll be bringing the corn silage over to the new bunkers. Uh, this is the last grass field I need to do. And then, like I said, we're going to go over and take care of some corn silage. And, uh, yeah, then I'll kind of be done for the day. As for what I got in between, done between episodes, we got the cereal crop harvest done. We got all the straw bales picked up. Uh, I've been around and fertilized with cow manure all of the cereal crop fields. So they got one stage of fertilization, fertilization on them. So we're good there. As for the cows... It's finally happened. Uh, yeah, last night I lost 15 cows due to old age. And so if you're playing on six day seasons, your cows can live to be up to 10 years old. Uh, that's the age that they're currently at. I got a couple more cows at 10. So I'm pretty sure we're, I'm going to lose a couple more cows here in a day or two. Uh, it's kind of weird. They didn't die like all at once. It was like at different hours. Even though the first set of cows that we that we bought, I can't remember if we bought twenty and twenty, or was it ten and ten? Uh, I kind of forgot how we did that. But uh, like I said, so far over the last fifteen, I got like maybe like five more cows at the age of ten. So I'm guessing we went ten and ten on the first set of cows. Either way, I'll probably lose a couple. But even though I lost fifteen cows last night, I expect to lose a couple more. The numbers are going up. Uh, let me double check because I tend to forget to do this once in a while. Uh, if we go to cows, we are at uh, 1092. So, not too bad. Uh, almost at 1100. Now, I want to hit 1300 by the end of the year. So, we're almost halfway through the season. I think we're right around 900. And we're almost at 1100. So, I got 200 cows already this year. And we got two more days in the first half of the season. But I am losing some cows. The good... I don't want to say the good news about losing the cows is uh, the first the first set of cows that we had over the first couple of years that we played. Uh, of course, when you buy cows, they're right around two years old when you buy them. And of course, our newborns that we got from them are going to be a lot younger. So uh, I don't expect to lose many cows here in the next year or two. So I think the numbers should be fine. I think at the end of year number two, we were like at 60 or 70 cows. I, I really don't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, and I expect to definitely... Uh, we, we definitely should tip the scales going upward in numbers rather than downward. We're not going to lose as many cows as what we give birth to. So that, that gets you got caught up to speed here. Uh, speaking about getting caught up to speed, uh, we're zooming around here in this prone big M, getting this grass cut. Like I said, hopefully uh, today and tomorrow are good days. Even though today is already halfway over, the grass didn't get completely dry or below 20% moisture until about 10.30, so about an hour and a half ago. And honestly, cutting grass, even though I don't have that many fields, I got a modded prone big end here. As you can see, we're mowing at 20 miles an hour. It's still taking me about a good hour to mow all these fields. I've been doing it myself. Uh, no sense of hiring a worker. Just go ahead and uh, take care of myself. I didn't think it was going to take that long, but it takes a while. Uh, of course, it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get the corn silage done in field number 11. I'm bringing it on over. I almost got one bunker over there completely full. I think I can probably get one more trailer load of corn silage into there, and then we'll get the Steiger over there and start compacting that down. But overall, we're doing pretty good on straw. Uh, we got one of the sheds completely full. 
minus a couple of bales. I think I took a couple of bales out today to top off the TMR mixer. So we got about 415 bales in, I guess I'll call that the main straw storage shed. And in the one I used for bedding, I think I got like 120 bales in there. So we are good on straw. Uh, the hay, we are usually doing pretty darn good on. And I think silage, we are doing fine on as well. So I think we're good everywhere. Don't need to buy any land currently. Oh, and I kind of forgot. Yeah, I did sell the milk. Uh, we did get over a million dollars. I was actually like at... Uh, okay, it's, it's new. I was like, what, what's coming up? Um, yeah, I had a little bit more cash than that, but I did, uh, did hire some workers to fertilize the fields and all that kind of stuff. But either way, we're over a million dollars. And already, because I sold the milk in the previous in-game day, I think I'm already over like 40,000 liters of milk ready to be sold. Uh, doesn't need to be sold now. I did deliver all the milk myself because, as you saw probably the last episode, I went to hire a worker to come and get it. Um, but he was taking the day off, so I had to go deliver it all myself. And it took quite a few trips, and he got, you know, almost 700,000 liters of milk in your tank that can hold 62,000 liters. Quite a few amount of trips. Alright, so we are just done here cutting the grass. So we'll go from one, one prone. We'll just go from the big M to the big X. And we'll start chopping up some more corn silage. Perfect. Hopefully this dries. Uh, let me just double check. I think it's one day of rain and then a couple more good days here. Uh, let's see. So we're on, we're on a... Technically, this in-game day is a Sunday. Then Monday looks good. Tuesday, 70% chance of rain. And then a couple more... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday right now. Long rain forecast shows no rain. So we'll see how it goes. Park that up right here. Yeah, so this bunker right here is... Looks empty, but if you come in here and bring up the helper HUD... Yeah, I got 51,000... I should have cleaned out this bunker first, but uh, yeah, I should have learned my lesson from last year. No big deal. No big deal at all. All right, let's come over to here and fire this guy up. Uh, generate cores. This is field number 30. Nope, oh, that's too many fields. Around twice, 3% is good. Do I want to go twice or thrice? I think we'll go three times. I think two times here there's a problem I won the corners. I kind of forgot why. Let's go around three times. Let's generate a course. All right, escape. Uh, drive course. You are good to go. Let's fire up the, the Peterbilt here. And we will start collecting. Oh, that's right. I'm not, uh, you don't sense I'm here. I'm, I'm too far in front of you, right? Let's back up. Got to get behind the chute. There, now, now it knows I'm here. There we go. Little crop destruction, but we're fine overall. All right, now we are good to go. As for the other cornfield, that is not even, that corn's not in the final growth stage. It's like at medium height. So we, I guess we'll call that second growth stage. In the first growth stage, you can still drive in the field, not do crop destruction. It's in that second growth stage. Once it's the third growth stage, we'll be over there. So next episode, I'm not trying to skip past this one, but next episode, hopefully we'll be picking up the hay that's on the ground. And uh, then we'll finish up the corn silage cutting. And uh, final field over there, I forgot what field number that is. Uh, but you know which one I'm talking about, I hope. And uh, that will do it for the year. Oh, I should have the Deutz Fire plowing field number 11. All right, that's no big deal. Um, we can, he can plow. It's not going to take him long to plow these fields. And he'll have time next year when I'm planting the cereal crop to get it done. Because corn doesn't plant as early as a cereal crop. And this field shouldn't take me too long. I think this field takes about 40 minutes to do. We'll zip right along here. Yeah, so it was kind of sad last night when I was skipping through the night. And I, every bit midnight, you know, I've been kind of keeping track. of like, am I going to lose any cows? And after a while, you start, you know, expecting it not to happen. When it finally happened last night, I was like, oh, man. Kind of hurts out our numbers. So, in a way, I would have been over 1,100 cows right now. But, unfortunately, 
And no, I'm not going to go through and sell them when they get to be nine and a half years old and try to get money on it because trying to scroll through 1,100 cows, which we currently have, and try to find cows that are a certain age and just to sell them to get $2,000, I'm not going to do it for money. And plus, who knows, I might get a little bit extra milk out of them before... Oh, that's right, there's a dip here. Don't get stuck. All right. Um, yeah, we'll get a little bit of milk, extra milk out of them. And I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're going to even have offspring pretty soon, so... We'll just we'll just uh, let it let it be. Um, maybe you have to put a graveyard somewhere for all these cows, but who knows? Hopefully, we'll hit two thousand before we lose too many. Before we get to a season where we start losing, you know, I don't know, uh, like twenty or thirty a day. That'd not be not so good. Like I said, this might be the last load here for corn chaff in this silo bunker. And so far, I have not got stuck, and I will not get stuck, so I won't be able to go in there any further. Alright, I don't want any more than that, so let's go ahead and stop. That should not be emptying anymore, right? Because I don't want to, don't want to spill on out. So let's go grab the Steiger, which I think is right over here. Now that I got the extra money again, I may do some more landscaping here in the future. I may or may not, all depends. I always say I'm going to do landscaping, but I always try to get uh, the farm work done first. A little bit of a dip there. Alright, let's go for a little ride here, Steiger. Up and over. Don't get stuck. Perfect. Alright, so what we do is we'll back up. Let me scroll back, so I, I want to go, like, right about here. Alright, uh, start course recording. And I don't have to get too fancy with this because, as you can see, I got it stacked in here decently, so, so I don't think I need to zigzag back and forth. Alright, and then we go hit the backwards button. I think someone left a comment in one of my Farming Simulator 22 episodes and said someone's got a mod out that resembles course play. Uh, let's see, uh, start at, stop at, deactivate. Yes, I think you're good to go. Let's see how it goes. All right, so how much chaff do I got in here? 1.7 million liters of chaff, which is mostly from field number 11. I mean, you saw how much I put in here currently. It was only maybe like 50,000 liters. All right, I'm just going to let him go, make sure I don't think he's going to stuck. Already 7% 7, 7 compacted. Kind of interesting. All right, let's jump into the dirty Peterbilt. And... Nice and smooth there. I'll have to remember that. Right there is the smooth part. Kind of interesting when I bought this, this farmland over here. It really looked like it was kind of flat. But as you see when I flatten out the land. It's not as flat as you would think it was. Or not as flat. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I thought it was flat. And it's not as flat as I thought it was. There we go. I'll spit it out. I'm having one of those days. You know, one of those days to where you get to the point of. You just start wanting to bang your head up against the concrete wall until you pass out and hopefully you wake up a couple days later and the day you're at is long gone. I'm, I'm having one of those days. Just one of those days. But it's all good. It's all good. We're back in Farming Simulator 19 trying to get up to 2,000 cows. And hopefully we do it here, like I said, in a couple years because I really don't want to start seeing losing, you know, 15 to 20 cows a night. Once I, I lose these original 20 that we bought in season number one, it'll probably be, what, another year before I lose another cow, I would think? Somewhere around there? Because they didn't have no offspring for about nine months. And the offspring will be about two and a half, almost three years, three years younger than the original cows that we bought. But I know we did buy some cows the second season as well. Drop our numbers. I got you on smooth corner, so you're going to take a second. I will say, uh, when I came back in the Griffin, every time I come back in the Griffin, Indiana now, playing as much Farming Simulator 22 as I am, it does feel kind of weird because things, as I found out recently in Farming Simulator 22, it's different in some aspects. 
like I learned the other day, that uh, after you plant in 22, you cannot throw lime down. You definitely got to put the lime down in 22 before you plant, or you can't do it. Little things like that. It's going to take a while getting used to. Uh, is it kind of flat here? Yes, we are fine there. Well, good news is the Steiger has not got stuck anywhere yet, so I think it's going to be good to go. I kind of hug this wall and get in the side of this clamp enough. And start unloading. Uh, I did talk about previously if I need to put down another side of the bunker, we will. But if I do, it'll probably be right over here. Rather than the one uh, just on the other side of our shed over there. Uh, just because I got plenty more room over here. And really it's not that big of a deal going from the TMR mixer down to here to grab some, some silage when I need it. So, But I will say this, feeding 1,100 cows per day, uh, I think last night, or going from last night to, to today, I think I went through about maybe 90,000 liters of silage in the mixer. So every day definitely got to bring up a trailer load and maybe sometimes an extra trailer load to make sure it's topped off well. But I still got plenty of silage here. That'll definitely get us through until all the silage that we're making today and then in a couple days we'll do the other field. And we should be fine. So I think currently, uh, if I remember, I, I just it's been about an hour since I looked at it, even though I just showed you. I think the cows kind of need almost 6 million liters of food a year at 1,100 cattle. So with our TMR mixer, we're, we're almost like at half 50% uh, silage in our mixer. It's 45%. So I need about 3 million liters of silage a year to feed the cows that we currently have. But you always got to add more because we are just going to get more cows, let's face it. So if you think about it, if you go from 900 to 1300 this year, that's 400 cattle. So next year, I mean, we should be able to at least do 400 cattle again next year, if not maybe a little bit better. So I'm, you know, we got the rest of this season here, you get the 1300. The next year, if we get another 400, it gets up to 1700. Then it's got one more year for that, and we should be at uh, easily at 2000. So two and a half years left is what we got. And if I do about three episodes a year, yeah, less than ten episodes to go. Now, originally I said I want to get, I would like to get this done, you know, by the new year, uh, with the holidays here, and I'm really trying to put out an episode of FS, FS22 every day. Uh, it's gonna be, it might be kind of hard to do Griffin, Indiana, as much, but see what we can do about getting two episodes uh, a week back on the schedule. Uh, as I'm recording this one, I plan to have one to watch this when it goes live. I plan to do another one, so it should be two episodes this week, I, I hope. So I want to finish this season. Um, oops, we're full. I would like to be able to finish this season uh, this week. Alright, so another load here. Yeah, so these cereal crop fields, they all have been fertilized. We're good to go. I actually only got as far as, um, I fertilized the fields way over on the other side of the road. I got this one fertilized, and I got that one half fertilized, and we ran out of cow manure. I had to wait another day for 1,100 cattle to, to produce more manure. All right, let's unload. Trying to get as compact in there as I can. So I would assume if I got 1.7 million liters of chaff on the other side, I'm guessing these bunkers are 2 million liters. I would suppose. I'm probably, at, you know, if I really tried hard, I would assume it holds 2 million liters because I said we're at 1.7. Could be more than that, but uh, it'd be kind of hard to find out how you get more than that in there. All right, give me some more corn chaff. So 
so I what I kind of almost, almost forgot to talk about it, but since I was doing some hay here at the start of the episode, kind of a little disappointed that the hay in to make hay in FS22 isn't kind of like it is here. Um, yeah, they still got it to where after you cut the grass, as long as you tet it, it immediately turns to hay. So I was kind of hoping to have something like here. I'll be interested to see if if they can make if real isthmus I, I, I can never say their modded name real isthmus modding the original creators of seasons if they come out with a mod of seasons that that's relative to what they have now in 19 be interested to see if they can come out with a mod for seasons which overwrites the seasons in in the base game not too sure if they can or cannot but I don't know, still early stages of FS22. FS22 does have some uh, some issues here and there, as we all have seen. A lot of testing going on by other YouTubers. I appreciate them taking the time to do the testing because I just don't have time to do so. And I haven't been, been able to watch all the episodes I would like to watch either. Uh, I just watched a uh, Farmer Klein video. He was doing one with the rocks in the fields to find out because in FS22 if you haven't seen it yet uh, there's rocks and if you leave rocks in the field after cultivating plowing what have you it's supposed to damage your equipment that much more but he did a test and it wasn't that significant enough where I would say yeah you better pick up the rocks it's kind of like yeah it's not that big of a deal really I mean yes it does cause you know he did the test pretty good, I think. Um, I would like to see the test done on a bigger field. Um, let's see, how can I say how big the field was here? Uh, yeah, it's not even... I came and... Uh, I would say, if you take that cornfield that we're doing, it was probably like one-third the size of that cornfield he did the test in. So, obviously, the bigger field, the more more accurate the test would be, I would say. But, I mean, it, kind of, it did kind of show that it wasn't that big of a difference. Yes, it did, it did cause more damage, but not that much, like I would say, take the time to pick up the rocks. Now we're just... I don't want to say I'm waiting for a mod of map yet, because that's, <laughs> that's going to take a little bit to get a mod out there. Although I'm not mining the Elm Creek at all. Of course, I've only been on it for like, uh, what, two weeks? Well, by the time you're seeing this, it'll be like pretty close to three weeks, but you know what I'm talking about. And the production buildings, as we're learning in 22, some are just, I, I gotta be it based on what I'm seeing, but I'm, I'm playing on hard economy. Some production buildings, I'm looking at the money, I'm like, um, it's not really worth it. Like the oil facility, uh, making the oil, I think some flour prices I was looking at, it's like, yeah, the price of sunflower oil is double of sunflower seeds, but it takes twice as many sunflower seeds to make the sunflower oil, so basically you're making sunflower oil and not really making that much more money. <laughs> so, um... I think some of the economy needs to be changed. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of things Giants needs to tweak on that. For sure. But overall, I've been having fun with it. I'm enjoying it. And for those of you following along with Elm Creek, I appreciate it. And uh, also, yeah, we just keep borrowing money, don't we? I don't know currently when I'm at as this goes live, but uh, I originally said I only want a $2 million loan max, and I think as I'm making this video a week before it actually goes out, I think currently I'm on a $4 million loan. And I think when I go, I'm getting ready to record an episode of Elm Creek right after this. Which would be uh, the previous Sunday's episode. So like I said, <laughs> yeah, you're watching, if you're watching this as it goes live, it's the previous Sunday's episode I'm getting ready to record. I may be up to a $5 million loan by the time I get to it and want to do what I want to do. No way in heck, though, am I doing $55 million loan on Seasons. Nope. At least not yet. 
who knows. Just one more trail load after this one, and I'll be all done for the day. Been a long day for me here. Like I said, uh, been mowing all the grass this morning. Did field number 11 off cam. Now we're getting this field done. But the good news is we should be all set on silage now, definitely through next season. Uh, I was just having a flashback during that time lapse when, in the beginning, when we started off with one cornfield, we were pretty much selling silage because the silage was getting to be two years old that we had in storage. And silage, apparently in real life, uh, is good for about two years max. So we were selling some silage at the BGA because we had for two years. Like, yeah, we'll just keep doing that uh, as long as we need to. But now uh, it's like, do I have enough? Uh, I, I don't think we're going to have any problem using all the silage that we got every two years for sure. Uh, like I said, I'm a math. Like this. It's like, what, 6 million liters the cows need every year currently? And about half of, our, half of our mixture is silage. So I need about 3 million liters per year. Uh, with the bunker that the Steiger is currently compact, it probably is done. And what we got over here at the other bunker, that's 3 million liters. So the bunker we're adding to now is going to be extra for next year and into the next season. But we still got field number whatever it is. Um, <laughs> let's check. I hate, I hate saying field whatever it is. Uh, field number 23. So I think that 23 is probably the same size as 30 is now. So, yeah, we'll have uh, what we made today plus, or what we have in that, the second bunk over here, plus whatever we get out of field 30. That'll be extra for next year and probably the year after. So I'm not sure if I'm going to need, actually, you know what? be smart peanut you're only 1100 cows you want 2000 that's double so 
You know, currently need 3 million, so you're going to need about 6 million liters of silage per year to feed 2,000 cows. I know I'm going based on 1,100 cattle, but, you know, better be going over than short. So probably, you know, once we hit 2,000 cows, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to feed them again for another year, because I don't think, uh, I mean, I don't know, we'll see how I feel when we get that far. I think originally I said, yeah, 2,000 cows, and then feed them for a year, so I'll probably try to do that. It won't, won't be too hard, I don't think, so I'll have to decide to buy maybe another field here. And we'll probably buy fields number, well, that's 23 that's over there, uh, the one next to it to make corn and make chaff in there. The cereal crop fields, I think we got enough straw. Um, didn't drop that low on straw this year before we made straw bales, so I think we're good on straw for the amount of fields that we have. We're all good on that. At least I say that now, but uh, currently I think we're good on straw. Hey, I might need another grass field, but we can go ahead and buy more. Money's not a problem. Uh, we're just making, well, not, we're not making. The cows are making more than enough milk for us to... Am I too close for... Oh, you're going to cut it on that edge. Gotcha. I'll get out of your way here in a second. Uh, yeah, the cows are making us enough milk to bring the money in. That's not an issue. I don't think I'm going to even buy any more farming equipment. I mean, I could. But like I said, I got so much farming equipment to use now. It's fine. We're all good. And we are all good here. Almost. Wait. Okay, wait a second. We're almost done. Almost. Frank is taking his time, finishing up the row. Thanks, Frank. The other thing I noticed also during the time lapse, I just want to stop the driver and turn him off, is uh, when I was driving the Peterbilt around, I noticed I was getting kind of low on the diesel fuel. And all of a sudden it hit me. I got to look when I get back into Farming Simulator 22. In 19, we do have def, uh, diesel exhaust fluid as an option in 19 and mods for def. I'm not, I thought that was going to be in the base game in 22. I think DEF is kind of part of the base game in 19. I think it shows the option. It shows the capacity for DEF in the tractors and some equipment. But in 22, I don't know. I will say this. Uh, in 22, like I said, there's a lot of things that are kind of missing. Like in the shop page, because that's where we have to go to find out if it takes uh, diesel exhaust fluid or not. Uh, like in the shop page now, like when you go lease something, you have no idea how much it costs to lease. Is there an hourly fee? Is, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, is that missing on purpose? I, you know, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't see the option for diesel exhaust fluid. But, um, it is kind of interesting how 22 is going to be this year because previously Farming Simulator was being published by Focus Entertainment and now Giants is uh, doing it on their own. So now instead of buying the base game and then buying... Uh, 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 special editions or platinum editions or whatever they want to call them each year. And now we're buying season passes. I, I, wait, I shouldn't probably... Uh, we are done, right? I assume you're done? You are not done. Okay. Uh, Dark Horse. Alright, so I'm going to let you continue, I guess. I thought you'd be done by now because I, I checked during the time lapse once and he was like at 35%. I'm like, well, he's got to be done now, right? Uh, no, he is not. So we'll let Frank Jr continue compacting the chaff and I'll cover that up uh, but like I said next episode uh, we'll be windrowing the hay and uh, making some hay bales and then we'll be doing field number 23 over there finish up the corn chaff and that pretty much does the farming for the year other than taking care of the corn fields uh, putting down manure oh, that's right I don't know why that changes when you get in the tractor and restart it uh, I'll take care of the bunker here after I get done recording here. Um, but yeah, field work is pretty much done. Other, you know, I can do that beginning of this season where the planting for the cereal crop is. Why am I getting out and trying to grab for diesel fuel? I'll just do it like this. Turn that off. It's going to cost a little bit of cash, but it's fine here. There we go. Uh, stop at last trigger. Deactivate. Deactivate and drive course. There. 29% more to go on that, but we are pretty much all set there. Uh, how much chaff do we got in this bunker now? Well, uh, 830,000 liters, which is pretty darn good. If I get another uh, 830,000 liters, we'll just say 1.5 million liters into this bunker. So this bunker is going to be pretty much full when we get done with that field over there, I think. I think. 
Uh, meanwhile, I just want to take a double quick look at the cows if I can. Uh, manure, okay, how much milk do I got? Actually, I got 78,000 liters of milk. So I sold it last night before I got the mod where the cows get milked at 6 a.m., 6 p.m. So it's been two milkings since I sold the milk and I got 78,000 liters of milk. And currently, right now, they require 5.5, so not quite six. So we're a little bit on the, on the lower side here. Um, while we're listening to uh, Frank Jr. do what he does there, uh, can I find, I mean, it's, like I said, scrolling through here, trying to find the cows that are near uh, their expect expectancy life stage and selling them. We're just going to leave them in here. I, I, but I would like to find a couple of them that are close to see if they actually have any newborns on the way. So you would think like the last two years of their life expectancy that they would not be able to give birth. But I would like to find a couple of cows here. I'm just staring at the age on the right hand side. Finding a lot of cows that are under two years old for sure. Well, there's 3.7. I saw that one. Uh, four years old. Saw one there. Four. 4.85. Now we don't have that many cows that are near the uh, oh, 8.7. And right now she's not expecting any. All right. So here's a couple of cows that are almost nine years old. They're expecting a calf. Uh, in almost another year, so they're going to give birth just before they're expected to expire. Oh, look at that! Stop right at that Holstein, that male. He's uh, he's up to 2,500 pounds. Uh, how old is he? Uh, he's only 5.8 years old, so um, he might. I don't know. Can he reach 3,000 pounds? Who knows? Uh, so here's a cow that's 10 years old and not expecting any offspring. 10 years old. 10 years old. Yep. Oh, look at that. 10 years old, and they do... Yeah, yeah, they're expecting offspring, but the question is, will they get the offspring before they pass away? So I got a couple... Actually, I got more cows in there at 10 years old than I thought. Um, but that's fine. It's, it's going to happen. Nothing we could do. We knew it was going to happen at some point. The question of was when it was going to happen, and, it, and it's happening now. Like, as you can see here, as I'm scrolling through, we don't have that many cows that are over 8 years old. This, I don't know, maybe like 30? I'm, I'm, I'm just wild guess there. It's not that many. And for as much as we're getting for offspring here, I think we're definitely going to, numbers going to increase greatly. So, uh, next episode, I don't know what day it's going to be. Oh, like I said, we're the fifth day of summer. It could be the next day. It all depends on when the grass turns to hay. Um, it could be tomorrow. And the same thing, i got to wait for this corn to grow one more growth stage, and then we'll, we should be able to harvest it. Um, you want to do corn chaff, and this is the way they do it around here. You want to do corn chaff before it's ready for harvest and dries up. You want the moisture from the corn stock and the corn uh, to be mixed in there so when you compact it, it can ferment better. Um, I did ask a couple farmers around here and that's what they do. That's, that's the way they explain it to me. It may be done different elsewhere, but that's what they do around here. But anyways, uh, I'm going to sit here and watch Frank Jr. finish this up so I can wrap this up. And then, uh, and then uh, yeah, I'm done for the day. I'm um, not going to do any landscaping for a little bit. Like I said, I already told you we'll do the next episode. Um, maybe after that, I might do some quick landscaping again because I have plenty of cash, but we shall see. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Griffin, Indiana. But until then, have a good one.